Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. It is 10 to 6. Pre dawn is going to be really, really soon. I don't expect much this morning because tomorrow is the full moon. So it's pretty full right now, but it's about to set. So as soon as it sets, I think my chances will get better. But what am I doing out here? Okay, so I'm on the Mississippi River. There is a hotel boat dock just down from us. It's called the American Duchess. What I'm going to attempt to do this morning is catch fish on little jigs and do a breakfast fish catch and cook if all goes well so let's get started time is a ticking this is what we're going to throw first it's on a 1 16th ounce jig head it's an avocado chartreuse crappie tube that is the key right there the chartreuse and i'm going with a darker tube to start because it's dark out right now and it is in mississippi the river is dirty not as bad as it usually is but it is what it is i know it's dark and you can't really see but i'm going to start in an eddy by a boat ramp and then see these lights down here we're going to go that way along the bank and fish around the boat ah dang it I've found some uh, feeding fish. Just lost a white bass. I'm on the opposite side of the boat ramp now, headed towards the American Duchess. Here we go. What do we got? Little white bass. Get a little bit of breakfast off this one. Not too bad. Let's try for a bigger one and a more. Two bites and one fish that's better than I expected. There's a drop off right in front of these rocks. It's not real deep, but there's fish in it. All right, there's the American Duchess. We'll give this a go for a second, then we're gonna work our way back. Let's try without the float for a bit. Yes, there we go. Oh no. Ah. Maybe that was a gar. Here we go. Got him. Aha. Ah, I can get that out of the mud. Whoa, buddy. Always find drum on the edge of these boat ramps around here. Not a big one. Fun to catch on the ultralight. There we go. Nice. Right off the edge of the boat ramp. Please be a white bass. Oh, yes. I thought it was getting too late in the morning for you guys. That's number two. So I've switched baits. I'm rolling with a totally chartreuse curly tail on a black Roadrunner. I chose this Roadrunner because of the size, not because of the color, but the color's not hurting me. And again, it's a smaller white bass. There's no size limit here, but it's breakfast time, right? So I don't need a lot. I just need a little breakfast. So what I'm doing is I'm just throwing 
towards the boat ramp and jigging it back to me. And I usually pick something up right at that ledge of the, the edge of the boat ramp. There's kind of a hole right in front of it. Seems to be fish still feeding along here on this side of the ramp between the ramp and the American Duchess. There's an eddy down from this ramp. Nothing's really feeding in that eddy. It's all on this side. Yes, yes, oh, right off that edge there. Nice, look at this. What do we got? Is it a white bass? This one's really small. I'm gonna let this one go. He's way too small. Little guy. It's a lot better than I expected this morning. Yes, here we go. Got a nicer one. Feels nice. Let's see. I, I get fooled with this current. Oh. I'm gonna let this one go. Nice. I think these fish are hanging out right on top of this ramp. Sometimes you gotta know when to back off. I was waiting for these waves to stop. I should have been filming. This is casting. Whoa. And we picked this up. I can't go down to this water's edge because it is slippery. What do we got? I think we got us a nice white bass here. We have to work him over here. I don't want to lose him in this current. I'm only running an eight pound test. Let me come down to the beach here. That is a nice white bass. That is, that is, that's lunch. Oh my goodness. I don't want to leave now. I was thinking about leaving. Oh my God, that is a nice white bass. My goodness. That is awesome. Look at that. Whoa. That puts what's in the ice chest to shame. Yes. Yes. Another nice fish. But it's not what we want today. But it's just another layer to the video. I'm just too hungry to keep fishing. I'll tell you what, so much better than I expected it would be this morning. It's time for the house now. Using a different kind of oil this time. This is a mixture of canola oil and olive oil. I like it. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in. Eh, maybe a little more. That's good, that's good. So I have a medium flame underneath that pan. I'm gonna let that heat up a bit. Might take a couple minutes. I'm going to reduce the heat now. Just a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Oh, this is a nightmare because I forgot to dry the fillets. Oh, oh well, here, do this real quick. To not make a mess. There we go, that heat is starting to reduce now because I turned it down. I'm just gonna be simple, adding some saturated. 
Just a little bit of saturation. That's what I call a little bit. I'm gonna add some uh, dried basil leaves. It's not going to take these long to cook. It'll cook even faster and hold in a lot of flavor and juice if I cover them. So that's what we're doing. So what I'm looking for here is the fish to flake and it's starting to get flaky. Some of it's there, some of it's not quite there. It's about two to three minutes per side. I've already flipped them again. I'm just going to wait. It's only, only a little bit longer now. All right, the fish is done, but the eggs are not. I'm going to pull these out of here. Put them to the side and cover them so they stay nice and hot. Get these little fish parts out of here. No, shell, shell, one shell, God. Got it. One more egg. Man, I'm not having good luck with the shells. This doesn't happen all the time, but nobody likes biting down on shells. There we go. All right, so I don't have a lot of heat under these eggs, and I don't want a lot of heat. I'm gonna cover them. I'm not making over easy. I'm kinda gonna do sunny side, but I'm waiting for everything to kinda evenly cook a little bit. I want runny eggs. And here we go, it's a sunny side kinda day. Yeah, I like the runny yolk. Here's the close up. Now I have this on a bed of rice. I eat a lot of rice. All right, let's tuck in. Oh, this looks good. Wow, this morning worked out a lot better than expected. I was fairly pleased with it. All right, let's see how I did. Mm, the fish is good. Fish is good, not too overspiced. Just wanted something simple. All right, now I wanna Get a little bit of fish on my fork and break one of these yolks open. Get that egg on that fish. See what that tastes like. Oh. Mmm. Simple goodness. It just adds extra layer of richness. Oh, and I'm all about that extra layer. Oh, yeah. Rice and egg, I tell you. Mmm. So. Ah, uh, woo, man, good, 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 good stuff, good stuff, all right, like, share, comment down below, woo, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff, buy yourself a t-shirt with my name on it, I love you for it, woo, see you next time.